So in the first video on data visualization, we looked at how to create a basic chart or graph. In this video, I will teach you how to create a chart or graph using additional values. So in the first video, we used my Strava log for August to create a basic chart or graph showing the total distance per activity. So we had kayaking, walking, cycling, and a total distance. In this video, we will add a new value, which are the months. So we have August as in the first video, but we also have September and October. And we have a total of 90 rows minus the first one. We have 89 rows of data. So to simplify our work, I created this pivot table and I've decided to use the months for my rows and the different activities for my columns. We'll now add a value. So if I click on values, I could go with the total duration. So we see that in August, I spent three hours, 40 minutes cycling. In September, I spent 13 hours, 37 minutes walking, six hours and 23 minutes hiking, and so on. In my values, I could also use the total distance as we did in the first video, and that's what we will do. So this is the data set we will work with. It's much simpler than the big data set. So that's another use for pivot tables. Pivot tables, as we saw, are great to analyze data, but they are also very useful to create a simplified data set that we can then visualize. So I will select rows two to five and columns A through E. I will right click, copy, and we will come to data wrapper. I'll click on new chart. It will open up a new um, tab with you know the first tab being upload data. So we'll click here and I will paste my values. We'll click on proceed. Before that, let's, let me remind you that you could also upload a CSV or Excel spreadsheet. You could import a Google spreadsheet or you could link to an external data set. But since we're, we aren't working with a big data set, we can simply copy and paste it. Generally speaking, that's the easiest way, at least for me. So proceed. Now we have an issue. As was the case with our pivot table, the months are disorganized because the system is reorganizing the months alphabetically. So we could come here, select our first column and click sort view by month. Now they're listed properly because the system knows that we're dealing with dates. So that's fine. If we were to put text only, then they would get deorganized again because the values would be reorganized alphabetically. So let's put auto. There we go. And then sort by month. We'll leave it as is and we'll play around with it. Uh, once you kind of move it out, move it around, it gets uh, desynchronized. So play around with your data a little bit until you get it right. Uh, if I click here on swap rows and columns, I could click on the column and then simply move it to reorganize my different columns. So really, really make sure that under the check and describe tab, you organize um, your data set. If I go back to swap rows and columns, the months are back. I should be able to reorganize everything by month. There you go, August through October. So if it gets desynchronized, just click on swap rows and columns and then come back or transpose the data and then you will be able to reorganize everything. So looks clean to me. I'll click on proceed. The system decided to create a lines graph for us. Not my favorite one, but that, that could be one option. Let's see what group um, grouped column chart, what that looks like. So that's kind of neat. We have the different months and now it's telling us the total distance I cycled um, in August compared to September. I didn't cycle or bike in October at all. I only hiked in September. 
I make a difference between walking and hiking. Hiking tends to be in the mountains for me. Walking is whenever I leave the house and walk around my neighborhood, say. And then we have kayaking. So our columns are now grouped by the different activities. And I have a color chart here for the different months. Let's see what happens if I come back to check and describe and swap my rows and columns or transpose the data. I'll click on proceed again. And I'll come back to chart type and I'll click on grouped column chart. Now the different color codes are for my different activities and I am using the different months. Let's say that's what I want to showcase. I'd be fine if I wanted to compare the different activities uh, based on the different months. I would just swap the data as we had before. So that's uh, that, that's great. Let's stack our um, values by clicking on stacked column chart. Now we have the total distance I did either you know, walking, kayaking, hiking, or cycling each month. So that's the total, and I have subtotals. So that's what I spent, or the distance I did walking, the distance I did, um, I guess that would be kayaking, and then the distance I did cycling. If we come to September, we see that we have hiking now, and October, I only walked. So you can still compare your different activities month to month that way. That could be another option. Um, this uh, stacked column chart can also be very useful if you want to showcase the different components of a budget, right? You could have revenues and expenses. So those would be instead of August, you would have revenues. And then instead of September, you would have uh, expenses or expenditures. And then you would have the different components of your revenue stream and then your different um, expenses. So that, that could be one usage. If you come to the pie chart, now you have a um, pie chart for only one of the months, I believe. It just took um, August, so wouldn't work. But we could click on multiple pies. And now we can compare our different months. So we see that in October, I did 77 kilometers on foot, whereas in September, I cycled 61 kilometers, I hiked um, 24 and I walked 17 kilometers. So you can play around and find the best visualization based on the data you're working with. If we click on column chart, now something great happens uh, or interesting is that we have this uh, timeline here. So I can actually go from one month to another and it will show the different activities I did that month and the total distance for each. You could actually increase the size of your uh, visualization by dragging it in the bottom right corner here and so on. So that's how in a nutshell you would create an advanced chart or graph using Data Wrapper. As in the first video, you can come here and refine your visualization, change the color scheme. You can annotate it by adding a title, a description, notes, byline, the data source. You can play with the design. I do recommend that you keep it um, as uh, the uh, default uh, layout, but you can always play around. Once you're done, you click on publish and embed. You publish your chart and then you can use the embed code or the uh, PNG screen grab in order to share your graph or chart.